Guys, lots of things about Chapter 3 Season 4 have just been leaked, and I'm going to be going over all of those new leaks today in this video to get you guys ready for Chapter 3 Season 4. And to do this, I'm going to hop into the late game arena solo mode. They did just add the solo mode in an accompaniment with the trios mode, so we're going to hop into that solo mode right now. So right off the rip, we'll get started chatting. What is a theme going to be for Chapter 3, Season 4? Um, likely it's going to be a throwback theme or some sort of evil dark theme. One of the two. They're very different themes. But likely it could be a throwback theme. That is my theory. That's my also favorite. That's what I want it to be. Because it is going to be Fortnite's fifth birthday around the time that Season 4 releases. And also a lot of OG weapons have been updated in the files. And... We've already seen tons of OG POIs being brought back to the island, like Lazy Lagoon. Now you're probably seeing at the bottom of my screen that it says 56 out of 60 players in a LTM. That is because the Delay Game Arena was made on Creative Royale. That's going to allow lots of creators to create their own Fortnite creative games on the Fortnite island without having to create the island from the scratch. So Epic is showing off that feature right now by putting in Late Game Arena. Um, and I think it'll be a great way to have lots of different options when, uh, Creative Royale releases. So let's go over some more leaks. What do we think is going to be in the Battle Pass? Well, like, there's going to be a lot of variety next season. It's leaked that there's going to be Spider Gwen and also Miles Morales in the um, in the Battle Pass. Those guys have been leaked since Season 1, but we've seen a lot more leaks and a lot more um, different Easter eggs on the Fortnite Island that could be referencing those things. So it's likely that they're going to be there this season. Another thing we could be seeing is a Brie Larson skin. Um, Brie Larson is confirmed to be the voice actor for the Paradigm who is a member of the Seven, and just like the uh, the way The Rock Johnson was revealed to be the Foundation, it's probably going to be revealed that Brie Larson is the Paradigm. So we think that next season is going to have a live event. Um, Epic did release uh, update 22.51 uh, just a couple days ago, actually, but it just released a couple of hot fixes, which I don't believe is going to mean much of anything. I don't think Epic is going to be adding anything new. Alright, well we are dead. That is uh, quite unfortunate. Uh, you just ran straight into my box, there's nothing I can do. But we'll hop into another game and discuss some more leagues. Going back to the Battle Pass, we could be seeing uh, new Marvel skins in the Battle Pass, as has been leaked that some more Marvel skins are going to be in the, sh uh, in the shop and in the Battle Pass. And some owners of the Fortnite Marvel comics are going to be receiving the Iron Man skin. There's a new Iron Man skin coming out. And there's potential for the Iron Man Mythics, the Iron Man Repulsor, to be coming back in Season 4, as the Mythics have been updated in the files. As well, in the Battle Pass, there is a new updated version of Pele. He has not yet been leaked, but also a goth type of um, Meow Skulls could be coming in the new Battle Pass as well as potentially new versions of Midas. Now, what other skins could we potentially be seeing? Well, the Lord of the Rings has been actually leaked through the Nintendo Switch. Um, Nintendo Switch players have been able to see castles on the beach, similar to those seen in the Lord of the Rings TV show. And so there's great potential for Lord of the Rings to be coming to Fortnite. We could be seeing skins from them, potentially even in the Battle Pass. Wrapping up the skins leaks, Lady Gaga could be making an appearance as one of the emotes um, actually plays a replica of her song Poker Face when you get all four players to complete the emote. Going back to all of the Marvel leaks, the Hulkbuster is uh, leaked to be coming in the next season. Its, uh, code, its code name was Plate Hawk. And this is going to be more of a defensive type of vehicle, having two different shooting options, but as well as a sprinting option to help you escape a battle. This could be coming in Season 4, and could be a new type of mech. I ever don't think it would be too overpowered, as when the mechs came back at the end of Chapter 2, players didn't seem to have too much of an issue dealing with them. 
Now, while there is no vehicles in late game arena, another thing that could be coming to the base game are motorcycles. Motorcycles were leaked originally at the very start of the season. We could even see them in the trailer, but their files have been removed. And we saw lots of files leading up to what they potentially could have been. They were gonna be two-seater vehicles with a person on the front and a person in the back. Their files were removed, but that's actually a good thing, believe it or not, because usually files are removed for a new vehicle before they are released. That happened with the Joyride update when the cars came to the game. Control blend with these could um, have lots of different features, helping you fight certain opponents, maybe hide in bushes, collect certain items, or perform certain tasks like harvesting mats. It's not a known what they will actually do, but those are just some ideas of what they could be doing, which will give NPCs a much needed change and make them a lot more useful. What? I had no clue he was in there. Well, let's hop into another late game arena game that will probably be our last one, and we'll discuss the biggest leak of Fortnite Season 4. For the biggest leak of Season 4, we're going to be talking about some black goo. You're probably wondering what this black goo is I'm talking about. This is going to be something similar to how the sand took over the map in a Fortnite chapter, or in Fortnite Season 5. This goo is probably going to be similar to that sand. Like I was saying, you're going to be able to stand a tunnel in it, but obviously there'll be slime. And that goo has actually been spotted on Spawn Island. I'm currently looking for it. It, um, I think it's over there somewhere, but we're not going to be able to get over there before the game starts. The goo has actually also been seen in other places on the Fortnite map, meaning this could be taken over. Another Nintendo Switch leak was spotted on the Nintendo Switch uh, store for Epic Games. Nintendo Switch players were able to see black goo with a hand sticking out of the top, which has been confirmed to be the Paradigm's hand sticking out of there, which could mean that black goo could be taking over the map similar to Sam. Another leak for Season 4 has literally just came out like an hour or so ago at the time of recording. The word Paradise has been leaked, for chapter four, or for chapter three, season four, which could be taken on as multiple meetings. I'll let you decide that on your own, but let's head and finish up this late game arena game. And I'm gonna get ready for season four. I'll hopefully record a couple of videos on that at some point, uh, just to show you guys some new content. But I'm super hyped for it, I know. Not everybody plays Fortnite that much anymore, and if you do, it's probably creative. But I'm having a lot of fun in Fortnite, like actually having a lot of fun. So I'm super excited to see what Fortnite brings in the future. And I'm super excited for a throwback theme, if that is hopefully the theme that we're going to be getting. Because I was unable to play most of Chapter 1, and if I did, it was in very short time periods. So I'm super stoked for a throwback theme, hopefully that'll be a thing. Oh, that isn't good. How are you not dead, dude? Uh, we unfortunately did not get the dub, but thank you for watching. I'm super excited for season four. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next weekly Wednesday. Peace!